I was born in uh, Cleveland, Ohio in 1931, which makes me 83 years old. At age eight, my father took me out to a, a roundhouse in Lindale, Ohio, put me in the cab of a steam engine. We backed out onto the turntable and they let me blow the whistle. At that moment, I, I knew that that's where I wanted to go eventually. My name is Donald C. Wetzel, and in 1966, I designed and ran the world's first jet-powered train. I had uh, been hired by the New York Central as an engineman a couple of years before, got into the idea of high-speed rail and did some preliminary design, no, no hardware. President Perlman wanted us to run trains safer, faster, and cheaper. And that was the mission. It was a General Electric J4719 off of a B-36 bomber. We found out that there was a complete B-36 pod containing two engines available. We, of course, mounted the, uh, the pod on the bud car. For us, we had to turn the pod upside down which means we had to rotate the engines in their mount. And since they were symmetrical, we could do that. So the pod was upside down and the engines were right side up. The run was uh, from Butler, Indiana to Stryker, Ohio, was just over 21 miles. All the road crossings were closed. We couldn't have any of the crossings breached because of our speed, the gates would be starting down after we left. The Rumble, of course, was behind us, and many of the neighbors thought that a fighter was coming down the tracks at that low level. They didn't realize it was a train. I reached the speed of 196 miles an hour, but I had been programmed to go through the speed traps at 180 miles an hour. So I was throttling back I didn't have a lot of experience with jet engines and trains. They said I never let go of the whistle cord for the entire 21 miles. The French had the world speed record at that time of 202 miles an hour. But if I had known that when I hit 196, I'd have let her run and I'd have busted the speed record sure as hell. It turned out Many years later, when Guinness wrote the record up, they informed us that we did indeed have the world's speed record for self-propelled trains, locomotives. Everything else has been powered by a wire and electricity. They didn't carry their own motive power on board like we did. So we were the space shuttle of the, of the day, railroad-wise. I have clips from all over the world. Uh, Newsweek, uh, Aviation Week ran a special on it. I just didn't realize we did so well. <laughs>